Time to, this is gonna sound cheesy, time to let the artist speak. It's easy to, to be quiet, and I think what my music ultimately says is like, hey, you can be loud and you can, you can be, you can be bright and you can do all that stuff. If you get a group of people together that all believe in the same thing, working hard at it, then stuff can happen. And everyone starts from zero, like, everyone at some point is just a guy or a person, but if you enable, if you give the gift, enable someone to help out and to be a part of something, I think that's, that's amazing, like, in, enablers, like, that's a true leader, is when you can enable someone that's under you and give them a step. Because then you look around, and there's a lot more geniuses than you, than, than meets the eye, and you're like, man, these kids and all these people around me, all my friends that have been touring with me, just like, before we were driving vans and trailers together, like, getting $50 a show, like, making no money, but doing it all ourselves, and we were just kids doing that, and looking back at it now, like, had we had the internet and all these things we have now, yeah. back then, it would have been a different story, but now that's true, you know, now it's like, it's incredible. But for young kids, man, I was, I was so young too. I was like, you know, 16 touring and everything. And it, it, you can be sensitive to that and then you can forget how to create art in a way because it becomes a business and it's not coming from you. You know what I mean? I don't think about what makes me inspired. I just create what makes me feel good and then it comes out. So like, that's just who I am. It's, I guess it's a gateway into how my mind works. Maybe it's not, my music is not mainstream music or wasn't mainstream music. I made it in my bedroom when I was playing it in front of smaller, rooms in this, like, for a very, very long time. You know, maybe some people think I'm crazy because of that, but that's fine, like, that's what I like to do. And I think people tend to forget when everyone's in the same room doing stuff together, stuff goes 50 times faster, ideas come pouring out, and you get a lot more done. So building a home for our culture and our scene and a place to even document it to show people what it is, because it's more than just, than, than I, I even think than what, than what most media thinks of electronic music, there's so much more that goes behind why it's there and why it came out of nowhere and the people that are, that are doing it that are making an impact. So, yeah. yeah, that's important to me. The first step of throwing a rave is location. You know what I mean? You want, it, you want it to feel good and then you put the music there and then you put it there. But as long as you walk in and you become inspired by the space and everyone around you is like in it for the same reason, that's cool too. It's dope. So I just wanted to build a place where younger artists who are essentially they're, you know, especially when you see kids that are coming out 12, 13, that have access to the same tools we have, making stuff that's just mind blowing. You want to keep that. You want to keep their souls pure because that's what that's what that's what's going to make them grow into something bigger. If you dilute them and give them crazy ideas and give them that pressure, that friend has another friend. You bring them over and you say, Hey, check this out. Do you like this? And maybe they don't like it, and you find the next person. And literally, like, it's it's like you take one brick and just stack the next. And the most you can do yourself then you can create something, then sooner or later, people are gonna notice what you're doing because you, they can feel that energy, they can feel that, like, that, I mean, I, mean, I think a lot of people, like a and in the industry, like part of what we look for in an artist is not only someone that makes great music, but it's someone that has that energy, that devotion to what they're doing, and that's, that's a big thing, man. That's what I look for in the artists that I sign are people that are really talented and people that have that energy. Think about, Think about your fans and your culture, and all the ideas will come out of that, you know? And, and, and invest in the right way. Invest in, in creating something really beautiful and something that you, because I think people will see that ultimately too. Like, I mean, I don't really do many interviews or talk about it, but, or talk about much, but I, 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 I have a, me and my whole team really pay attention to detail and putting on great experiences, because at the end of the day, we're doing it all. So, it has to be our vision. If, and, if it's not, then it just, it's a reflection on me and I'm really hard on myself. Yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, what was the question again? I don't know, but that's a great answer. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. Yeah, so back to, to grandmas hate my music. I think there'd be a problem if they like my music. Um, then I should start getting, thinking about how to become edgier, I don't know. Um, yeah. Man, um, I mean, we like where, where, who you are, who you, who, where you stand in a culture, and what, what you stand for, and that's the kind of the punk rock mentality that I've always kept. Is like I never want to change who I am. I love your music. My dad hates your music. <laughs> Generally, people over the age of like sixty for yeah. sure don't get like you know elect like right. like either electro or dubstep or whatever. I don't know. Do you guys have any questions? Please, I'm better get when people started. ask me questions. I'm not used to saying. Just shout them out. Sometimes I verbal, verbally, just go. Hey, hey guys. <laughs>
better at making music. Rolex that's gonna be showing up, like holy <laughs> shit, at uh, different festivals. Is that? Yeah. I didn't mean to cut you off. Depends what the request is. I can't take off my clothes on TV. Just Sonny's not gonna make out with you, bro. <laughs> So my request is, if I throw you this flash drive, maybe throw you might find one throw song it. that you like to play. Yeah. Woo! Got you, bro. I listen to this. Just gonna do it. What's up? Thanks, Sonny. Uh, first off, I want to say I'm talking about before, you know. One of one of the things that we always, one of our maxims is, uh, uh, what, uh, you like, you know, came out of school thinking that it's like build a business, make a bunch of money, uh, like, like, like sleep with hotter girls. Like that's what your society essentially teaches you is your value system. And then we met these people that were like, no man, I'm gonna change the world. I'm an sure I can fuck with their head, screw with their heads. So you say fuck with their heads. Fuck we're, with their heads. Yeah.